Once you have installed and activated your WebGRM Outlook plugin as shown in the installation video, you are now ready to set it up for your daily use. To access the option menu, open your Outlook and press Files, then Options, and then click Add-ins. Click on WebCRM and choose Add-in Options. Note that if you use Outlook 2007 or Outlook 2003, you will find this option menu under Tools and Options. From here you have the opportunity to test that your username, password and DBN code has been typed in correctly and that you are connected to the WebCRM system. By clicking on Advanced Settings, you can apply various options to your synchronizations. Read more about how to do this in the detailed PDF manual, which is available and ready for download from Personal User Settings inside your WebCRM system. You are now finished with the general setup and are ready to learn more about the everyday use. When you synchronize a meeting, an activity or a contact person with WebCRM, you can do this either by creating it in WebCRM or in Outlook. If you create the meeting or the activity in WebCRM, it will be transferred to Outlook the next time it synchronizes. You can also create the meeting or the activity in your Outlook and enter the company name or the contact person's email address in this field and press Synchronize this with WebCRM. This is of course assuming that the person and the related company has been created in WebCRM. If the person hasn't been created in WebCRM, you can press this WebCRM button which opens a compact version of your WebCRM system inside your Outlook and from there you can create the contact and the company. If you send out a new meeting invitation to a contact person using Outlook, your WebCRM Outlook plugin synchronizes this by using the email address of the invited person. If you make changes to already synchronized meetings, activities or contacts, they will automatically be updated in both WebCRM and Outlook. The synchronization depends though on how your administrator has set up these fields inside WebCRM, as they are the ones who will decide if the synchronization is in both directions or only one way. You can of course also delete meetings. If you delete the meeting from Outlook, you will see that it synchronizes to WebCRM and that the meeting is being declared cancelled on the customer card. Should you on the other hand choose to cancel the meeting inside WebCRM, then the meeting will be automatically removed from your Outlook the next time the synchronization initiates. If you want to synchronize an inbound email, just open it and press the Synchronize to WebCRM button. If you want to send out a new email, you can check this box to choose whether the mail should be synchronized to WebCRM when sending. All synchronized emails can be found again in WebCRM under the related company. Note that the mail history in WebCRM will display outgoing emails by default, but of course you can also choose to see inbound. Also note that you can search by subject, recipients and so on. If your email has an order number in the subject line, you can also search for the mails related to this specific order number. We hope you will enjoy your WebCRM Outlook integration in the future. Note that if you purchase a module, you can ask general questions in help and support in your WebCRM system. For further help, you can also study the detailed PDF manual regarding the WebCRM Outlook integration that you'll find available for download under your personal user settings in WebCRM.